What's up guys, I'm JJT, welcome to my channel and welcome to my first episode of Perks Explained, where I will be breaking down the various perks of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War so that you'll know how effective they are and what they do and if they are worth using. Today's episode is going to be about the Flak Jacket perk, which lessens the damage taken from enemy explosives as well as Molotov and Combat Bow Flames based on the description. And I tested Flak Jacket against all the explosive and fire based streaks and equipment that I could think of. Before we get started, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And if you're feeling particularly generous, you can support me through Patreon to help me continue to make content in the future for you guys while also getting a few benefits such as voting towards future content, asking questions for live Q&As in the future, and even having me personally analyze your gameplay with tips on how to improve. There will be a link in the description below as well as a link to my Twitter account for those who want to follow me on Twitter. With that, let's go ahead and get started. Starting off with the Semtex and Frag Grenades. I tested the Semtex and frag grenades without flak jacket and they were both able to kill with just one grenade if they were close enough to the target. For the Semtex it seemed to be around 3.5 meters, the frag seemed a little bit further than that. I didn't test these distances to be exact so this is just a reference. It did seem like the frag kills from a little bit further away than the Semtex though. When I tested them against flak jacket the frag was no longer able to kill with one grenade and took two grenades to kill. The Semtex was only able to kill with one grenade if it stuck directly to the enemy. Otherwise, it took two close grenades to get the kill with the Semtex also. Looking at the launchers, I was surprised to find out that neither the Sigma or the RPG are capable of killing an enemy even without flak jacket unless you hit the enemy directly with the rocket. This means that rockets are extremely weak against players in this game. Even more surprisingly, I found that with Flak Jacket on, an enemy can survive three rockets from the Sigma or RPG landing right next to them. It took four consecutive rockets from the Sigma and RPG landing right next to the target in order for me to kill them. I also found that with Flak Jacket on, the RPG doesn't even kill with a round directly to the player. Even though the Sigma launcher does kill a player with flak jacket on if they hit them directly with the launcher. This seems completely backwards as I would think the RPG should be better against players whereas the Sigma should be better against aerial vehicles. With this information it seems that the RPG basically doesn't have a place in this game as of right now because the Sigma seems to be better at everything. Next up though we have the M79 grenade launcher and surprisingly once again this grenade launcher actually can kill enemies without needing a direct hit even though the launchers can't. You do have to land within around 2 meters it seems to get the kill but it's weird that the RPG isn't capable of this but the M79 grenade launcher is. When used against an enemy with flak jacket however it doesn't kill one hit even if you hit directly and it won't even kill two hits unless at least one of them hits directly. Moving on to the C4, it killed an enemy within five meters of the explosion, but with flak jacket on, even two C4s right next to the enemy wasn't enough to get the kill, meaning that you cannot kill an enemy with flak jacket on with C4. When I tested the Molotov without flak jacket, if I landed it next to the enemy, it took about 2 seconds to kill the enemy and maybe 1.5 seconds if I landed it directly on the enemy. With flak jacket on, it was still able to kill the enemy, but if I landed it next to the enemy, it took 8 seconds to kill, which is way more than enough time for somebody to escape. It seemed to kill slightly faster if I landed directly, but still plenty of time to escape for the enemy if they have flak jacket on, so it is definitely a good counter for the Molotov. The Napalm Strike was very similar to the Molotov. It obviously killed instantly if it landed directly on the enemy in either case, but I found that if an enemy ran into the flames after it landed, Flak Jacket allows the player to survive significantly longer. Next up, I tried out the Proximity Mine Field Upgrade, and without Flak Jacket, I found it wasn't possible to survive the mine if you tried to sprint right past it. But with Flak Jacket on, you can barely survive if you full sprint right through it, you'll have a little bit of health left. Anything less than a full sprint through there though and the proximity mine will kill you even with flak jacket on, so in almost all cases, 
the proximity mine beats flak jacket obviously you should always just crouch or prone and you'll survive either way but if you don't do either of those then most of the time the proximity mine is going to kill you even with flak jacket i tested the combat bow also and without flak jacket it killed the enemy guaranteed as long as i landed it within around 2.5 meters and there was no way to escape the flames with flak jacket on the combat bow can only kill one hit with a direct impact otherwise it takes two hits to kill and the flames from the combat bow deal less damage over time so it takes longer for the flames to kill an enemy when you have flak jacket on I also tried out the RCXD and War Machine and it surprisingly found that it seems as though Flak Jacket had no effect against either of these when I was testing. It could be possible that the range they can kill could be slightly shorter with Flak Jacket on, but in my testing it seemed there wasn't a difference so Flak Jacket doesn't seem to counter the RCXD or War Machine. They both still kill with a single RCXD or single War Machine at what appeared to be the same ranges as without flak jacket that is pretty much everything i tested and if you think of something i forgot let me know in the comments but now it's time to give my opinion on the flak jacket perk i personally think this perk is far too powerful in black ops cold war right now and makes explosives practically useless since pretty much everybody uses flak jacket at least in all the lobbies i play in in my opinion, it needs a nerf, and it should save you from a Semtex, Frag, C4, Sigma, Rocket, RPG, and M79 grenade, but if they hit in their maximum damage range, I believe the opponent should be left with 25% health or less to make Flak Jacket and Explosives more balanced with each other. I think Flak Jacket's interaction with Molotovs and, and the Napalm Strike is okay, but maybe make it so the Molotov kills in 6 seconds, which is still plenty of time to get away from it, but gives the enemy more urgency to get away from the Molotov so it is more effective as an area of denial weapon. On the other hand, I think that the Flak Jacket could use a buff against the Proximity Mine War Machine and the RCXD. I think Treyarch wants these streaks and field upgrades to remain powerful even against this perk, so I'm okay with the RCXD and Proximity Mine still killing one hit if you are very close to them with flak jacket on but i think they shouldn't kill you otherwise and i think the war machine should take at least two hits against someone with flak jacket on this testing also opened my eyes to how underpowered the launchers in this game are even against opponents without flak jacket and i honestly think the sigma and rpg should both be buffed so that they can kill one hit without hitting directly against opponents without flak jacket Although I think the Sigma should have to hit very close to the opponent, whereas I think the RPG should be able to kill enemies from further away one hit. I thought it was really weird that it took multiple rockets with both of these in order to kill an enemy even without flak jacket, and it takes like four rockets to kill enemies that do have flak jacket on, which is absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. But these are all just my opinions based on what I found during my testing. But I would like to know what you guys think in the comments below. What, if anything, about my results surprised you? Do you think Flak Jacket is balanced? If not, what would you have changed? Leave your answers in the comments section below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on to catch all my videos as they release. And I'll talk to you guys next time. JJT out.